Hi everyone, this is Mr. Neil Reiter, consultant audiologist and director of Clearwax. Thank you for joining me in what is another demonstration video of our recently developed wax scope. Now, this video um, is performed in a patient with a very, very narrow ear canal and also a very bendy ear canal. And this wax plug uh, extends all the way from the entrance of the ear to the patient's eardrum. Now, over the last seven years, I believe it is, um, when we've been providing um, training in earwax removal using our Clearwax iClearscope endoscope, one of the primary reasons why uh, delegates attend the training course is because they really, really struggle with narrow and bendy ear canals uh, to the point where they find it very difficult to visualise very deep in the ear. And you can see here, um, we're beginning to remove the more lateral plug of wax. And we're just using the speculum. Now, I'm actually using our 4.25 millimetre speculum here. And in the right ear, it was just about... Um, um, uh, narrow enough to dilate the ear canal but if you continue watching in the left ear I had to revert to our smaller speculum the 3.5 millimeter speculum just to um, be able to insert the speculum into the ear and dilate it enough to visualize the wax and you can just see the clarity that's offered by our uh, wax scope it truly is crystal clear so you can see just how narrow this ear canal is so I have to stretch it open and then once I'm in, I'm dilating the ear canal, we can visualise the wax. I've just put some olive oil drops in there, you may see that. And when I was previously performing ear wax removal using loops or an ENT microscope even, I found it hard to um, get the, the focus um, every time I'm removing a piece of wax. And I also found that the instrument can sometimes be become a bit blurry and distorted. And you can see just how crystal clear it is. In fact, you can see every single hair strand. And importantly, um, in terms of the wax scope, um, compared to similar devices on the market, the, the suction probe looks like a suction probe. It's not distorted. Um, it's not taking away from the view. So I'm just readjusting the focus here and I'm just going quite deep in the ear. So this bit of soft wax, you can see it's lodged beyond the isthmus. So we know that's uh, up against the eardrum almost. So I'm just coming away a bit more laterally and I'm just trying to man manipulate the wax plug off the posterior canal wall and I'm just giving it a little wriggle just to detach it and I'm slowly now coming away. And again, uh, the ear canal, because it's narrow, it's trapped this wax. It's closed upon itself, but we just managed to tease it through. And I'm just going to re-enter the ear, I'm gonna really stretch it open as much as I can. And we're just going to get change the focus and now we'll be able to see the ear. In fact, this is the patient's left ear and you can just see, um, as you can see just how the narrow so we can see the handle of malleus and the blood vessels there as well. So this is the patient's right ear and I'm having to really, really stretch this. Ear. It was a bit narrower than the left ear. And again, you can just see how clear the image is how in focus both the wax is and also the zona suction probe. I think this ear gave a bit more difficulty than um, the contralateral ear. And they had been using a cotton bud, you may have seen there, there was an imprint of the cotton bud, just where we're looking at now actually. So I've just put some oil in. And I think I've reverted now, yeah, this is when I've reverted to the smaller speculum. This is our three point five millimeter speculum and even with that you can just see how clear the view is we've been able to dilate the ear open up much more and we, with our unique ENT speculum so we've uh, applied for our uh, 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 a patent has been applied for a UK patent um, it attaches to the wax coat directly and we've got uh, in the intermediate part of so if you think about the speculum you've got the tip the distal tip that goes into the ear You've got the paroxysmal end, which is the, the closest point to us. That clips onto the wax scope. And in the middle, there's a, an opening, a, an intermediary channel, if you like, uh, in addition to the slit at the top. And that's where the instrument goes in. And that provides several advantages. Um, having the slit um, allows more manipulation of the instrument and it comes from a higher angle of incidence, so it doesn't get blurry in view. 
also in fact in terms of infection control um the speculum is only making contact sorry the suction probe is only making contact with the speculum um it's not going through any mounting system uh, which the speculum is attached to so if you imagine you've got a device where you've got a speculum attached to a mounting system and the mounting system is fixed as part of the device and you're going in and out of that mounting system and which then goes to the speculum that mounting system is going to be um, well potentially uh, a hazard because of all the bacteria and wax from the previous patient and there's no means of sterilizing that so we've when developing this, we had it in mind as well to make sure it's hygienic, um, you're going to avoid cross-contamination. So these the speculum are disposable. Now these are all of our prototype um, speculum, so we're just now having them injection moulded, which takes a while. We're just getting all the tooling manufactured, hence the, uh, we're looking to launch this early autumn. Um, so we're hoping with the final finish of the speculum, uh, because when you have it injection moulding, it's a bit more precise. Um, even with the smaller speculum like this, you'll see possibly slightly less of the speculum in view, even though this is our really, really small speculum. And um, it's going to be more of a, a jet black finish as well, more like use your standard specular use for um, earwax removal, like your share or your Tamarkin or your Gruber. And once more, this wax plug is just stuck at the entrance now. We're just trying to tease this through. We're nearly there. Again, I'm just trying to stretch this ear open. Just, just to open a jar of the canal so we can get this wax plug out. So if you are an ear care specialist and um, you find it hard to use an endoscope now, as I said, the eye clear scope, the endoscope they originally developed, there's nothing that can really compete against that. Uh, you can just see the eardrum there, so nice and clear. Very pleased with that. Um, please do feel free to email us at info at clearwax.co.uk and we shall add you to our mailing list and keep you updated once the wax scope is commercially available. Thank you. Bye.